we're just so grateful and you can do it too. This is a sign that you too can achieve these type of things and walk into the closet of your dreams and you know stuff like that and the home of your dreams. The best part of waking up is fo- Oh wait, this ain't Folgers. <laughs> But, Folgers, if you're watching this, I mean, this could be you, you know, if you, you know. Destiny went to go see her best friend because her best friend had a um, a baby last night. Um, congratulations to you, Bree and Tyree, on your little bundle of joy. Um, so, yeah, so they had the baby last night. Um, and so Destiny is going to go see her and make sure you know she's all good and she doesn't need anything and so yeah it's just me here um right now um i'm about to log in and do some work and um i don't know if we have anything planned for today but we are planning to go to the movies because i want to see this movie well we both want to see this movie called the covenant with jake dylan i believe um we saw it in the previews and the movie looks fire so we're gonna go do that um it's kind of cold out today. Right now it's like 55, but it's supposed to warm up to like 73. So, but I wanted to show y'all and give y'all an update on our grass because I know last vlog I showed y'all our grass was looking horrible. And so the people came and cut it. Um, so it looks a lot better um, than it did. So, and I think I remember I told y'all, we don't plan on doing too much with this space because um, we are gonna get a pool in a fire pit area it's probably gonna be when the inside of the house is done um then we're gonna focus on the back side the backyard uh, it's definitely time for a cut in a lineup anyway i've been finding some of the best little items at um home goods lately and y'all know we've got you know the shelves that are almost done being installed so we've got a lot of stuff to fill in up there Plus in the office, there's gonna be shelves as well. So I've gotta get like a lot of little, you know, knickknacks and stuff like that. So I found this cute little marble tray. This is so freaking heavy and good quality. I literally love it. I love it so much that, um, so my mom was actually in town this past weekend and she bought the exact same one because yeah, we just love this. It. So cute. And I figured like it's a really cute you know, place to, we were talking about maybe putting like remotes in there or like for the coffee table or even on the shelves up there, you know, so whatever. And then I found this nice little vase. I love the vibe of it. It's definitely the colors and the vibe that we're going for. Um, you know, kind of like, it looks lived in, you know, it doesn't look brand new, which I like items like that right now. It's even a little imperf imperfect and I love that. Um, so yeah, I think I showed this one last time. This is the one I got for seven bucks at home goods, but I had to take everything off the shelf. So everything's just kind of like over here right now. And then I found this dough bowl that I thought was nice to add to the shelf. Um, not sure if I care for the color too much. I may stain it a little bit darker, but I just love the size and how big it is. Like this is my hand and <laughs> how huge it's huge. So I can put, you know, stuff in there, whatever. Um... Then I found this vase, and this is the one I'm really obsessed with. I just, oh, it's freaking adorable. Like, I know it's really different, and it may not even come out really nice on camera. I don't know, but a beauty in person. I love it so much. And then I found this nice little abstract piece of art, I guess, and I'm just going to throw it on the shelf it looks really nice or I don't know where I'm gonna put it. maybe like on the dining table or I don't know but I just love it so much I love the color it's like brown and typically these are just like either gold or silver so I really like this excuse me um what else this one back here actually I got from my mom year years ago oh my gosh I have hiccups I'm so sorry years ago but i love this too and i'm gonna put it somewhere then i found this little weird little piece i'll probably put this one in the office or something it's just like little shelf things you know 
And then I ordered all of my books that I'm going to use for the shelves from Amazon. So I'll link all of these. These are like really aesthetic looking. I've already looked through all of them and they're so nice, so informative, so interesting. And I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of these. Not just as shelf decor, but like to really go through them. So I'll link every single one that's here because I, and you've probably seen these in like so many people's house. These are like really um, popular coffee table books, shelf books. Um, but I just really, really, really love them. And they're even better on the inside. But they're, you know, they go with our color palette. So they just work really well. So yeah, these are all the ones that I got. And I am definitely going to link them all because I know you guys will probably like them once I get them styled for or on the shelves. And if y'all hear noise, I'm so sorry. The guys are here working today, so it probably sounds like crazy in the background. There's so many, but I promise you this is probably not even going to be enough. But at least I got a good start. Oh, and remember I told you guys I was going to go back and get another laundry basket. So I ended up getting it. It's the same exact one, but... It just fills in better the space right here so we'll have like our cleaners clothes in one and then just regular dirty clothes in another one starting to like you know get the laundry room things that way you know once they're done we can actually you know decorate it style it and stuff they still got a couple more things to do but yeah that's it as but not least you guys, I found this nice picture in Home Goods too. And I love this because it's encased in like a clear thing. And I'm so mad at myself because there were like three of them on the floor and I should have gotten another one. I really need two of these. Why I only got one, I have no idea. And I'm so upset about it because I went all the way back to the store and they were gone. I was so mad I even thought about just taking it back because the wall space here is so huge. It's gonna be really hard to find the perfect wall to hang it on where it doesn't look um, too small, you know? So I don't even know where I'm gonna put it now. I just have no idea why I didn't get the second one. Like I'm never gonna forgive myself for that, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to find one in another home, home goods. I've already went to like, two of them already so i don't know if i'm gonna have any luck but yeah my mom was here for this past weekend i think i told y'all that a minute ago and we had a good time it was much needed um i really needed her to come and she surprised me so that was like everything i had no idea she was coming but it's so crazy how we're like in sync or something me and my mom like for some reason y'all know i did like a little guest basket or i guess i can show you but i did like this little guest basket for when guests come over and for some reason i woke up that morning and put the guest basket out on the on the counter and i had no idea she was coming oh speaking of that, i need to clean the sheets because i think brandon's mom is actually gonna come next weekend but i put this out and i had no idea she was coming it's just so crazy how I just put it out for for no reason. But um oh here's other things I got from Home Goods. Dang, I got a lot of stuff I forgot. Um I got this little nice little marble tray from Home Goods as well. And this soap dispenser. It's like a brown color. Um, because I'm gonna do darker, like a warm colors in here. But obviously, we just got a long way to go because it's stark white right now, but I'm trying to grab little things when I can, when I think about them and when I see them, despite the fact that it's not fully ready yet for the vibe, you know what I mean? But I thought that was so nice and it was like 25 bucks, so nice. But um, yeah, so I ended up getting that and I just folded these little hand towels in it and then put the little thing there. Oh my gosh, dude, he scared me. What's good? <laughs> oh my gosh, baby. Did you hear me? I said, there you capping. <laughs> oh my gosh. He literally scared me.
scared the crap out of me because I'm back here where nobody comes because they're not working back here. Oh my God, you scared me. Um, but yeah, anyway, I was saying, I'm just about to get ready to make us some lunch slash dinner. I don't know, but they're starting in the office today. So that's really exciting. I can't, yes. I can't wait to get the recess lighting in here. It's, it is pretty dark. As y'all think, you know, we did the office black. Yeah. But, um, you know, once they get the recess lighting in, it should be a lot should better. Should be good. I see more, I see more people are out there. Yeah, he's got a couple of new people. Yeah, I see. Trying to get yeah. that, that. They started doing the clear coat on the cabinets. So the living room is literally about to be done, you guys. I'm so excited about it. They just did the clear coat on these and they just gotta finish up the fireplace. And yeah, but it's pretty much almost done. So that's exciting. We went with this dark brown stain for the cabinet and then this is like a really deep um, black so nice little contrast but um yeah it's coming along slowly but surely next week no not next week not next week what in two weeks the couch and the rug comes no that's next week may 2nd. oh that's next week so next next week, tuesday Yes. Wait, let me see what May second is. The couch and the rug comes for the living room, so it's about to. And let me t and let me tell y'all something, man. I am like I don't. You guys do not understand how I excited I am about this couch. This is what this has been our whole life. Show them real quick. Show yeah. them what's been our whole lives. We've here. just been sitting. We've just been here. sitting in those the whole time. Yeah. I'm six foot three. <laughs> two two thirty. Two thirty. Six foot three. And I'm sitting in this chair like I'm five one. Yeah. 135. It hasn't been the most comfortable. It has for sure. So I need to be able to stretch and lay my legs back and stuff. And like I think we were telling y'all a while back, like, it's like we love our bed, but we don't want to be in the bed. Like we're not yeah. those type of people. Yeah. You know we what I'm saying? So we're out. trying to get everything done so we don't have to be in the bed because that's just not our thing, man. It's cool, but it's not I wanna be out here. Yeah. In the crib. Yeah, but we're getting ready to have dinner and I just made like barbecue chicken or whatever. But um, I wanted to show y'all, we went over to our neighbors the other day for their little crawfish boil and they put us on to these Calypso drinks. Oh my gosh, like they are so stinking good. I don't think they are the least bit healthy, but they're so freaking good. It's my first time ever having them. I think they're like a dollar at Kroger. So yeah, so good. Good morning so tired this morning but for some reason i had the bright idea to schedule a visit for the chiropractor early this morning it's like my appointment's at like 10 so i'm getting ready to go there now but i had a little time so i want to drink some coffee because i am just really wanting some right now and my day is just i can't start the day without it like i have to have coffee but, uh, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just gonna make me some coffee and then go find something to wear. I pretty much make my coffee the same every single time. And this is like the only creamer that we like. So, I'm just gonna make that to get me going because I am a little bit tired. I'm not gonna lie. Today, I'm definitely tired. Coffee machine is kind of loud. But yeah, when I get back from the chiropractor, well, I'm gonna go to the chiropractor and then I think, well, I have some makeup to return from Sephora. So I'm gonna go there. And then there was one more other thing that I needed to do, but I cannot remember. Oh, I need to go and check our P.O. box. So I'm going to do that. And then just come home. Because the weather is about to get ugly outside. It's so, so cloudy. I'm having to have the lights on, and I usually don't have to. Oh, I thought I set the alarm off. But it's so ugly and cloudy. And like you guys know, this is not my favorite weather at all the sun is nowhere in sight i can't wait to go back to the chiropractor because 
last time when I went, I was feeling so good. Like he adjusted me so well. It was amazing. Like I felt so good for like a couple of weeks. Cause that was like a couple of weeks ago. And now I'm back like tensed up, you know, a little bit. But hopefully like this next adjustment will be everything that I need and I don't have to make it a habit of going. If you see a chiropractor, let me know in the comments. Like, is this something you have to continuously do or do you just kind of like stop going when you think everything's right? I don't know. He told me basically that I had, ah! I just squirted water. You know what? I'm about to see if it's still gonna be good. Yuck. But uh, he basically told me that I had, I think it's called tech neck because you know, during, like when you work from home, a lot of the times you work, like when we had our apartment, we didn't have an office. So basically we worked from our bed and you sit in the bed kind of like hunched over, you know, like this. So the, the pressure and the pain that I'm feeling started from that. I have like a slight hump on my spinal cord somewhere. It's so slight, like it's not a big deal. My back isn't like hunchback or anything like that, but he basically said, good thing you've come now and stop sitting like that. So, you know, it'll be better once we get the office set up and we actually have a desk chair. Okay, so that I was worried. Mm. Mm. Coffee is so good. But um, yeah, once we get the office set up, we won't be working from bed anymore, which actually since we moved into the new house, we haven't been working from bed. We've been working like at the bar or in our little chairs over there. So we've been doing so much better in regards to that because we use, and plus our bed now, we got an adjustable bed so we don't have to kind of lean up and do that anymore. So that also helps. Oh my God, the coffee is so good. But what I need to do is kind of like find something to wear. Um, okay, so let's go shopping in the department store. <laughs> if you guys watch the closet reveal, you know that we just got the closet, um, the built-ins completed. So still so happy about that. And we've been enjoying the um, organization of it all and the space. You know, we got you guys, we came from a apartment that basically, you know, a small apartment closet. So we're just so grateful and so thankful. And, you know, we just feel so blessed that we finally made it here. Like this was one of our main, like major goals was to purchase a home and then, you know, stop stressing over closet space. So we're just so happy and so grateful that, you know, we finally were able to achieve it. We worked our butts off to get here. And yeah, you know, we're just so grateful and thankful. And we appreciate all the nice comments. It's so sweet because, you know, years ago, this was a dream for us too. And we did not think we were going to get here. You know what I mean? So this is your sign. Like I always say, if you see something from our channel, <clears throat> no matter where you see it, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and you're inspired, just know that we are human too. Like we had to work just as hard to get here, if not harder than some people, you know, and we're just so grateful and you can do it too. This is your sign that you too can achieve these type of things and walk into the closet of your dreams and, you know, stuff like that and the home of your dreams. I think the outpouring of love from you guys has just been so overwhelming and we just weren't expecting it, but, and we appreciate it so much because, you know, some people don't like to see you progress or, you know, come from a different space or upgrade from a different space or, you know, things like that. So we're just so thankful for you guys and grateful. We rarely ever deal with any negativity. So we're just so appreciative that we have created a vibe and a family with you guys. Literally, we'll probably have like two negative comments a month, if that, you know, so it's just, we're just so grateful. But, um, yeah, like I said, 
I don't even know what time it is, but I need to start. I'm just gonna throw on some sweats. Um, I, mm, I'm drinking this coffee so fast and it's literally burning my throat. But I like hot stuff. Is that just me? Like, it's so funny because Brandon always makes fun of me. He's like, why don't you wait till your food cools off or your drink cools off? And I'm like, no, I like it hot. Like, I want my food to scorch my tongue. Not, like, really bad, you know what I mean? But I just like it hot. Like, I don't like... He will literally sit... It bothers me so much. It's so funny because Brandon will literally... I will cook dinner and sit his plate in front of him. And he will wait, like, 10 minutes to eat it. It's like, so it can cool off. So now I've just gotten into the habit of like letting the food cool off on the stove before I make the plate. Cause I like to eat dinner together. Like I don't like for him to eat it and then I eat it or I eat it and then he eat it. Like we like to eat together. So, <laughs> but my greedy self, like as soon as my plate's made, like I'm ready to just go in. But yeah. So I've just gotten into the habit of letting the food just kind of like chill on the stove a little bit. And, you know, so I have to eat lukewarm food sometimes. No, I'm just kidding. Not lukewarm, but I like my food fresh off the stove and my drinks fresh out the coffee pot. Like I said, I'm definitely going to, I'm definitely in a sweat swearing mood. So I'm just going to throw them on, which <clears throat> I told myself this summer I was not going to be wearing sweats a lot. Like I am done with the whole sweats loungewear look. Like I'm ready to just be. In different clothing now I'm so tired of the sweats I feel like it's a um, fallback you know <clears throat> plus I only have like a few that are like my favorite so I pretty much grab them every single time and you know what maybe I should be breaking sweat okay so here's what I'm wearing I just got on this little Sherpa coat I don't even know where I got this hoodie from I think it may have even been like Target and that's got on some biker shorts my little bag and then I'm gonna put on some Oh, I need some sneakers. Duh. Okay, it's probably going to be those Nike's Rattler. But yeah, I need to get them back down. Um, So yeah, that's the outfit. I'm just going to go run errands. Nothing special. Okay, here's the Nike's. I love these Nike's. They're so comfortable. So for the scent today, I think I'm just going to do the Fenty Rihanna. Yeah, that works. It's like a gloomy scent, so I think it works for today. I can't remember if I showed y'all the new planter that's outside of the front door that I got from Home Goods the other day. But I'm trying to find like a little plant to go in it. So I came to um, Home Depot. Duh. So I'm just trying to see what I like and what I want outside. And of course I forgot to freaking measure how big it is. So that's going to be another issue. <laughs> I just left the chiropractor and I'm feeling so good. Uh, I don't know what took me so long to get my neck and back pain issue resolved. I just feel so good and lightweight. But I came out and it's literally pouring down. So I'm glad I ended up going to Home Depot first because that was... Um, really important i really still need to go by the p.o box but it's raining too bad so i'm just gonna go home red bull sent us some red bull i know the contractors are gonna freaking really appreciate that um that's freaking awesome and this is the our contractor's favorite one the original so that's cool and then um l'oreal sent me some perfume by mcglair that's freaking awesome. I think this is so expensive. Hold on. Let me try to open it. It's so pretty. It's Angel Elixir. And I'm so excited to try that. So let's do like a little smell test. I don't even know if this is for men or women. Oh my gosh. I'm just so excited. This was so thoughtful. Normally, I mean, it's L'Oreal. So normally, you know, it's uh, makeup products that they send. But... I am super grateful for this. This is so cool. I wish I could take it out. How? How do we get you out of here, baby? Oh, okay. Wow, packaging is everything. Rechargeable and refillable. What does that even mean? Okay. 
Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Let me see. Oh, uh, okay. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, this smells so good. I'm not even being funny. This is the Angel Elixir by McLair. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Okay, new fail alert. And this wasn't PR. I actually ordered this butter. We, you remember um, a couple weeks ago, I had like a girl's day and I went to my girlfriend's house. So there was this girl there that smelled so good. Have you ever just walked past somebody and you're like, I gotta know what you're wearing. So she told me it was this body butter by Bellissima. It's Bellissima Butters. And she said this is what it was. So I literally ordered it right away. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, literally, I was like, okay, give me the website right now. I'm about to order it. And I literally ordered it, like, as we were sitting there. Oh, yeah. That smells phenomenal. And I like that the butter is soft. Because typically, like, these body butters that are made by, you know, like, smaller uh, businesses, they're kind of like that really hard butter that you got to warm up to melt into your skin. That smells good. Oh, and it's like a little sheen and I really needed it because my skin is so dry right now. As soon as the weather changes, my skin just goes crazy dry. So I'm glad I got this. So this is the dynamic flavor. Excited about that. And then Thread Beauty sent me a cute package. They have the cutest packaging and it's so inclusive. Look at all these shades and skin tones and oh my gosh like it's just beautiful even different ethnicities like that's so cool um but i love this brand and actually they're in target they are the contour stick that i use they make this contour stick actually it might be in the box so let's check it out oh it looks like these are just um complexion sticks hmm. oh it's black owned female owned vegan animal cruelty free detroit based but I love this product and actually they found me because I was raving about how good the contour is because, you know, with my complexion, I need a really deep contour stick and it's so hard to find with brands because, you know, typically they cater to more fair um, skin tones. So I saw them in Target and I, I'm in love. I've been using them ever since. So it's been like over a year now, I've been using their contour stick and I'm obsessed. Like, I will not use another one. I refuse to use another one. It's so good. And it's really affordable. I think they're like eight to, they range from like eight to 15 bucks. So, yeah. And Target, okay, it just says available in Target. But look at the inside of it. They always have the cutest packaging. Like, gosh, they really just scored on it. So these are all of the shades. Oh, how cool. Oh, yeah, so these are the ones that I love. These little sticks right here. Ah, I can keep it open. So cute, so nice. And I love that brands send you different, like all of the shades, because number one, you're bound to find your shade in here, right? And then number two, if you have friends that are more fair or more deep complex complected, you can share your products. Like I've, I've, I share so many things with my friends um, that I get from PR. So this is really, really, really nice. And it puts them on and it spreads brand awareness. So I'm really excited to try this. So it looks like these are like um, complexion sticks. So basically like, I think these would be like, um, oh, well it says multi-use, which is another thing I like about their products because you can use them in so many different ways. But I think they are marketed maybe to be like a concealer type of thing. And these are like, um, but honestly, like I say, you can use them as foundation. I mean, I just love their product, honestly. So it's Thread Beauty and I see them in Target like all the time. So cute. So refreshing to see people that look like me on the box. Like, wow. it's just so cool. I love this brand. And also, I got this in PR, which is Ritual, which is a vitamin I've seen all over social media, actually. So it looks like a multivitamin. Yeah. So I'm going to try these. I've heard good things about them. 
um, and they look pretty cool. So I am going to take one right now and see if I like it and keep y'all posted on them. But let's see, multivitamins, 18 plus. Okay, so it's the same thing. So it's just a multivitamin, but um, yeah, I'm going to try them out. I don't know if you can tell, but the capsule is like, ah! it's clear and it has, ah, focus, 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 focus. Okay, it's clear and it has like those little beads in it. So that's kind of cool. So I actually have a problem taking pills. I just always feel like they get like really stuck in my throat. But I just took the ritual and number one, I really like the fact that it has a peppermint after aftertaste, not like the, a medicine pill aftertaste. If you know, you know, if you have problems taking pills, then you know what I mean. But this is actually really nice because it tastes like a peppermint afterwards. And it's like a gel capsule, so it really slid down and I don't feel like it's stuck in my throat. So that actually was nice. I think I like this one. But we'll just see how it makes me feel and stuff like that. Um, but so far, so good. But I just wanted to share that because if you have a hard time taking pills already off the bat, and this is not sponsored or anything like that. They just sent it to me and I, wanted, I really wanted to try it genuinely. But I really like the fact that it has a mint aftertaste. That is so cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. As you can tell, we are pretty serious about our vitamins. <laughs> Typically, Golly is our go-to because they sent us a bunch of these. So we have like everything you can think of. Ashwagandha's back here. I mean, we just have like everything. So I'm excited to add the ritual to see if I notice a difference. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about that. I got some pretty sad news to report. This morning, our last fish died. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't either of us. Well, it was kind of, I guess it was kind of my fault. Oh, but, um, I'm saying you. I'm saying you, boy. <laughs> basically what happened was, well, I mean, you guys know, um, but we had bought the African cichlids because they told us that they would go well with our, what are they, tetras, I think? These are the rainbow fish. Rainbows, They're called rainbow fish. fish yeah. But um, basically, the, the the African cichlids killed our other fish, and we've well, been having those fish for months. So we know it was the African cichlids, and we took them back to the store, but it was too late. The damage was done. Well, so they no. So what happened was we had two that were OGs that were like yeah. down the ride. The they rainbow was, fish. Yeah. That we brought the African fish in there. They killed the one. And then the other, he was alive. But they had did something to him to where he was, like, on his back. And he was just, he wasn't yeah. right. And like, so, the last couple of days, he's literally just been, like, flopping around yeah. in the fish tank. So, it was really sad. But we finally put him out of his misery today. I didn't want to. But Destiny made me. She was like, we yeah. got to just do it. And I was crying. I literally so had Brandon tears. So, is officially the fish killer. Hey, man, stop don't play with me like that. I'm not no fish I know, killer. He's so sensitive about it. But um, we are actually about to go get ready and go to the store. You ready? Yeah, oh, I'm ready. I need my keys. I'm my keys. No, I'm, I'll drive. No, I'll drive. I got it. No, I got it. I got it, babe. Paper, rock, scissor. I got it. Paper, rock, scissor. I got it. No, I got it. Why you got to drive? Okay. I do, I do the driving. I know, but I want to treat you today. You going to bring your laptop? No. Well, yeah. Yeah, you might as well. Oh, but we're going to go to um, our, our, ho house. our house in the... I don't know if it's in North Park. In the I think it's in North Park. But Because um, we're looking for another... So you guys know the couch is coming. By the next time you see a vlog from us, we should have the couch, fingers crossed. And the rug. The couch and the rug is coming um, in a couple of days. But we need still like an accent chair. And our house is having a... Um, sale right now so i want to go see it which i told her i don't know what sale it. means but <laughs> yeah our house is pretty pricey but i've heard great things about them and i have been it's kind of like i've always wanted a furniture piece from there you know so i said when i purchased my first home that that would be one of the places i would get something so i know for sure i'm going to get a side table from there but we're going to go see basically if brandon can fit comfortably in the chair because you guys know he's a big guy and i want to make sure he's comfortable in the chair before we buy it so guys i don't know i don't think we ever showed you our fireplace yeah. on below this is what it looks like it looks so moody i can't wait it's to actually be dirty right now actually enjoying it man. i know 
they're almost done y'all everything looks so good like they just gotta pretty much like clean up you guys can see like some of the little white specks everywhere and stuff like that but aside from the cleanup like they're pretty much done in here so happy cannot wait and then here's a little update in the office they're adding the little um detailing here on the wall it's gonna be painted black but this is like the putty i guess or whatever i don't know and then he's starting on the Cabin, um, cabinets that are going to go up there today. Yeah. So the yeah. office should be ready in about a week. No, I think that. by Monday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we just made it back home and we did actually end up getting some stuff. We got an end table. Is it called an end table? Like a side table and a chair for the living room and i'll include like a picture um somewhere right here or something but it's pretty much gonna go like in that corner right there so yeah oh and we came home and they were installing the upper cabinets so that's exciting that looks so good it looks like a totally different kitchen so that's really cool um, yeah, I just put away all of our groceries. We went to the grocery store. Well, we did Kroger pickup. Y'all know I don't like going to the grocery store like to actually shop. But um, <clears throat> so yeah, man, it was so much freaking traffic on the way, dude. It's just crazy. Like living out here, the traffic is insane. Literally, like you would think the further you're out, the better traffic will be. But it's literally almost the opposite. Um, so yeah. But yeah, we sat in traffic for like an hour. So that was really lame. But I'm just wiping down the cabinets because I'm sure they were stepping on here when they were installing. Well, I don't know if they were, but I just don't want to take the chance, you know. And it's like really dirty. Ooh. So. Um, but yeah, that's what we did. I'm excited because I always wanted a piece of furniture from our house. Um, really excited that we got something. Yeah, Brandon really liked it. He was comfortable in it. That was my main concern because I was trying to, like, cut costs on some of the furniture, but by Brandon being so long and, like, just tall, like, not everything is comfortable for him. So I really wanted to make sure we got something good quality and really comfortable for him. Um, but yeah, I really love the chair. Everything's coming together. I'm so excited. Like next week is just gonna be the best week ever. I've never been this long without a couch. So that alone is just getting me excited for next week. Lately, what I have been doing is taking baths, like actual baths, like running the tub, water, and really just soaking in, laying back, clearing my mind for a good like 30 minutes. It's kind of like the sweet time. I've really been enjoying that. I've taken like three in the past three days, every single day for the past three days, which is so unlike me. I'm usually like a hurry up get in the shower, get it done, get out, get in the bed. But I've just been really enjoying it. And I don't know if it's just because it's a bigger tub now or if it's just like, I don't know. You can kind of relax more when it's a bigger space and stuff, you know what I mean? I feel like in the apartment, like it was just so cramped up. You just want to like get in and get out to fresh air, you know what I mean? But, um, so yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna take a bath tonight, but I do know I'm ready to chill because I am tired. And I drove, y'all saw I freaking um, volunteered to drive. And what was I thinking? Literally, I was driving for like two hours there and back. Yeah, never again. But. Oh, it was so nice because our agency, um, I think, well, I don't know if you guys know, but like we, we work with an agency. Basically, they help like 
you know, manage some of our deals and stuff like that, brand deals and get deals for us. And, you know, just it's, it's called an agency, um, talent agency. But they sent us some flowers and they're so beautiful. Look at that arrangement. And it just looks so good, like on the shelf. Let me just back up so you can see. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so beautiful. But yeah, so gorgeous. But um, actually, I don't think we've told you guys, but because it kind of just happened like during the vlog actually. But um, we had a really big secret we were keeping from you guys. We had got our embryo transfer and it actually failed, you know, like, um, you know, we were trying to get pregnant. That's where you put the embryo into my body and tried to get me pregnant and it didn't work. It failed. So honestly, it's like a major bummer. We just been kind of out of it the past week or so, a couple of weeks. And I don't know, we're just trying to like bounce back and get back to normal and just kind of, you know, get back to living life. I think it kind of stunned us and shocked us really bad. So we just kind of just been taking a break, you know, focusing on ourselves mentally, physically, emotionally. And so, yeah, that happened. Maybe we'll do a video on like, you know, the details of it and, you know, what exactly happened and everything, which we don't really know. So, I don't know. But anywho, that happened, which is really hard. It's really hard. It's a really hard loss that we were not expecting. We were actually so excited, you know, and we were planning everything for that to work, and it didn't work, so... It's a bummer. If anybody's gone through IVF or experienced a loss like that or, you know, I think just what IVF is so emotionally draining because it takes you so long to get to the point of doing the embryo transfer. Like we've been seeing our fertility doctor for like a year and a half, maybe two years. We've had, Brandon's had one surgery. I've had two, no, three surgeries. Um, and then like the waiting game of everything, like you can't just complete one step and then move on to the next. Like your body literally has to fall within certain parameters and your hormones have to be at this level. Your blood levels have to be at this level. It's just so many things and it literally took us all that time to finally get to the point of doing the actual transfer. So for it to fail, I mean, it's kind of like being jacked up and like shook really, but you know, like just, it, it was, you know, an awful experience, but nonetheless, that's why they sent the flowers. And I thought it was really sweet because, you know, they didn't have to do that but it was so sweet that they thought to do that, you know? We were playing around, finally putting some decorations on the shelves because, you know, like I said, they're almost done up here. So we just wanted to kind of just play around with it. It may not stay like this, but I kind of like it. It's kind of a vibe. It's going to change because you know Destiny, she changes <laughs> stuff around like, like, it's, it's like it's Wednesday to Thursday. Yeah, I'm def it's definitely going to change for sure. But I like it for right now. It goes with everything. But we'll see how it meshes when the couch gets here. And then we're just kind of going through. These are some of the boxes that were in one of the spare bedrooms. So we're just kind of going through them, clearing them out, and putting like everything. Like this is going to be the decor one. And then this has got like our, we're going to put like our games and like techie stuff over here. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. Just kind of clearing these boxes out so that room can be empty. Finally. Ooh. Finally. I've been and waiting to clean out that room since, since we started putting stuff in there. I know. Yeah. It's so crazy because we weren't even going to put anything in that room. But then when we started doing the 
construction, you know, you had to put it somewhere. And you know what's funny? I found these books. I actually need to start reading. Like, I know that sounds funny, but... Put them by your bed. You might put them by your nightstand? Yeah, I'm gonna start, I need to start reading. Yeah, here, I'll put them by your nightstand. I can read, guys. I'm not illiterate. I'm just saying I don't read, but I need to start reading. <laughs> Yeah, reading reading. because of this. This is what he likes to do at this time. Hey, it's the playoffs, man. <laughs> NBA playoffs. All my basketball watching. Y'all know what it is. Yeah, so, anywho, these are the cabinets. They're looking good. I mean, the shelves. I really like it. I just kind of, these are kind of stuff that I just, I kind of showed y'all some of the stuff from Home Goods and everything. We just picked this up today at CB2, this little vase. But some of the stuff I've been having for a long time, and I just pulled it out. And you, you saw what we got from uh, uh, our house? Yeah, I told him we got the chair and the end table from our house earlier today. Um, but yeah, this is the shelves. I'm really loving them. I think I might add one more thing right there. It kind of looks a little off. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just move them over. I don't know. But let me know what you think. But if I've had some candle holders, that would be a cute thing to put. That's what I need. I need the two candle holders. Holder. Yeah, to fill in right there, right? No, definitely. Wait, fill in where? Right there at the top, where you said you wanted a third piece? Yeah, so. Or, or. Actually, you know what? What about, what about that, that glass one that we usually have? I don't like, I don't want that one. This one right here? I wanted something like maybe like marble. Marble no. or no, because I don't like the silver. Uh, but I'm thinking like marble or I don't know, some kind of stone or something, or maybe like a wood. I don't know. Shoot, this side is pretty almost done. I think we need like a maybe some greenery going up tall, or maybe like a tall bit. Oh, that base that's in there once we paint it, yeah, because I have some stuff still that I need to like change the color of. But these flowers are just here, you know, for now. But I'll eventually probably put them on a table or something. Hopefully, I can keep them alive. I'm not really good at it, but I want to try. But let me show you, like, with the cabinets closed. I'm not yeah, I love that vase. I just need to, um, oh, oh, my God, it's so high. That's nice. Yeah. I can see. Oh, my God, please. Um. Yeah, that vase is nice. I just need to figure out what color I want to paint it for sure. Right, and so maybe we take this off and then we put the pe a piece here and then have the vase right here. Yeah. Tell me what y'all think. Yeah, for sure. I like it. I like that though. I just need to figure out the color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, were these standing up? Yeah. What were they standing up against? Um, Just together. I had one like slanted. Oh, okay. okay. I'll fix it. If you bring me the ladder, I can fix it. I know, I had these little marble bookends that were so cute. I swear it was a little box. And I cannot find them. I'm gonna keep looking. The race is so pretty. Yeah, that, yeah that's, gonna, that's gonna pop real good right there. Yeah. And then maybe you put some uh, flower, I mean, uh, greenery in it or something. Um, what I do need to do though is find those bookends.
Oh yeah, we already told them that one, right? Yeah. Yeah, guys. We're gonna... We actually need to go get fish tomorrow because I'm, 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 now I'm sad. There's nothing in here. We got this beautiful, luxurious, penthouse sweetheart fish, and then nowhere, we got no fish for You know? We got a couple cool trips that are coming up in June, back to back. I'm not going to tell y'all the places because, of course, I mean, we got a surprise, y'all, obviously. So, you know what? Comment down below on where you think we're going. Back to back. In June, comment down below where you think we're going. Lord. You know what I'm thinking about right now, actually? How the next move is going to be insane. Why you say that? Because we're already collecting so many more things. Yeah. We got this. Oh, you know what, though? I'm going to have, we're going to hire people next time. Like, hire people. Oh, no. Let's have that package. Oh, it smells so good. We made these ba these uh, candles. If you guys watched a vlog, then you saw we made we went to like a, this candle making class. Brandon's candles smell so good. Like he got us literally to the T. It's like a perfect mixture of. Actually, our house. Actually, our house just smells like fall all year round. Yeah. We love. Even in the summertime. Yes, even in the summertime because we love like how do I describe this like. Vanilla, cinnamon, like, um, but what you would say, like, warm vanilla, you know what I mean? Like, pumpkin spice. That's how our house smells, if you ever wondered. And he literally got it to the T. He made this, and it's so perfect. So, good morning. Destiny's over here making breakfast. As you can see, biscuits. I think like ham, egg, and cheese biscuits. Ham, egg, and cheese biscuits mm -hmm. with fruit. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we're about to get this Saturday morning popping off the proper way, of course, with some nice protein in our system. Okay, so as y'all can see, we're slowly but surely tackling this room. Um, I mean, we're getting this mug cleaned out. Um, if y'all seen pro previous vlogs, y'all would know that you know, it was a lot of stuff in here, a lot of boxes and stuff. So good thing is, is we were able to clean some boxes out, get them in our new cabinets that we have in the living room. And so we're just cleaning this out. Um, it was supposed to be the nursery, um, as you guys would know from our last vlog or maybe two vlogs ago. But of course, you know, the IVF, um, I mean, the transfer didn't work if you've been following us on social media. So we're kind of Still a little devastated about that, that it, the embryo didn't take, but we're getting through it. Um, so we don't know what we're going to do with this room yet. Um, you know, maybe make it another guest bedroom, maybe make it a filming room. Uh, we're not sure exactly what we want to do yet, so we're still trying to decide on that. Okay, and we're getting three of those, and then three of these little silver guys are so cute. Love I was trying to get I was trying to get another pair of Luke and Duke, but she wouldn't let me. <laughs> and what's funny is he was trying to tell the lady what happened with the other fish and he literally referred to them as Luke and Duke. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> trying to convince Brandon that we need a puppy. Look, they have so many. So cute. Um, Look at this starting. Oh my god. He's trying to ignore me. Look at him over there. <laughs> yeah. Come on. We're trying to get him. He's so cute. His name is Blaze. Look, he keeps looking at you. Like you. Of course, he's looking at you. <laughs> Baby, leave that puppy in the store. Hey, look. He's she so said. Cute. She said the puppy gonna get to fifty to seventy pounds, which means you know what? A lot of boo boo. <laughs> he I just doesn't want to have a dog. Mm -mm, I can't. Why? What do I they got, do to you? What's wrong with them? Look at this. Is our pets right here? I just got her nine fish. That's your pet. You like fish. I love fish. You like. Fish. Actually, you know what's funny? So I what just, about me? You like fish too. I know, but I. Like she talking about. She talking about. 
She gonna need a cuddle buddy. Uh, I'm on a cuddle buddy she need. Yeah, what? the lady was trying to convince her. So, she was like, come on, you know you need a cuddle, buddy. <laughs> Dog gonna be crawling all in our white bed. You look for somebody who like white sheets and white everything. That's easy cleanup. They just not gonna get in the bed. Man, look, they gonna get that bed. Cause as soon as we get the dog, you gonna wish we didn't have it. That's not true. That's not true. So. Hey, so the lady the other day told us about the Crate and Barrel outlet. So of course we had to come today. So let's see what they got. Okay, there's definitely some nice pieces in here, but um, you really do have to come yeah, early. I don't, I don't see nothing. Yeah, I feel like you have to get here early, like on their I mean, days that they. Pay lotion out this bug is <laughs> came all this way. This is cute marble kitchen cabinet. Yeah, we ain't gonna Actually, I like those. But yeah, we just left the Crate and Barrel LA. There's actually a lot of some good gems but Oops, sorry delivery days are thursdays and fridays and i would have to be here probably at like 9 30 and they open at 10 because he said people come and they start loading up about 9 45 so i could come maybe a little bit earlier so i might start doing that on thursdays or fridays because that would be really cool to get some you know things from the outlet which would be like almost half price like they're selling them for like 30 to 50% off, sometimes even more, so. Rooms to go would be 75% off. <laughs> I don't have anything <laughs> wrong with rooms to go. It's just the fact that rooms to go makes a little bit smaller furniture. And because our walls are so big and the areas are so much bigger, we can't really do a lot of small mm -hmm. furniture. Yeah. Uh, Brandon, Brandon yeah. doesn't understand that concept, yeah. but if you know, you know. So we need, big, we need bigger pieces, mm -hmm. you know, so, but yeah. anywho. Yeah. So that was fun. We only got the bookends today. As you can see, they are already more active than the other ones we got. Ooh, that lighting. Like, it's it's so amazing. Oh my gosh, we're just so grateful for the freaking lighting in our new home. Like, if you film content in your home, you already know this is an amazing feeling. For our OGs that have been rocking with us from the first, from when we just started doing content, you know the struggles we've had. You've been right there with us. Dude. The lighting has been like, ugh. And now look at this. Look at this. It's just beautiful. Look it's at this. Beautiful lighting. We just put the blinds up because we're getting these blinds actually taken out and we're going to do shades. But it's just crazy how much of a difference it makes without um, blinds. It makes. We love you guys so much and we will see you in the next vlog.